<laughs> hey, a dealer. Maria Mercurial. Dealer. It wouldn't be a rock concert without a drug dealer. Although no police are nearby, he plays the part as if this performance was part of the ex his performance was part of the experience. Yo. Nick, Nick, what is going on over there? Is your is your house falling apart? I don't know. It's it, yeah, kind of. Yo. I'm gonna... You like nerps? Maybe something stronger? Nerps. You've been living under a rock, oh my? Nerps is the wonder drug. It'll cure whatever ails you. You've got nerps? Nerps. No, I'm out of nerps. But I got something else you might like. I didn't know there was a concert. Who's playing? Maria Mercurial, the Silver Lady. She is the waviest. I don't know. <laughs> That's something they the kids say in the future, I guess. So <laughs> the waviest. So so smooth. I love her chromed cyber limbs. She's kind of fallen off the radar lately, though. Looks like she's making a comeback. Oh, the Silver Lady. I guess she's like actually made of metal or something. Oh, yeah, mercurial silver. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna I say think yeah. that's liquid, right? Well, mer yeah. When does the show start? Uh, it's gonna be hours. They just started setting up, and the crowd is already forming. This is her town, so it's no surprise. Show me what you got. Jazz. These are these are just the various you know, drugs, combat. It's, they they all like basically <laughs> temporarily boost one of your stats while lowering another one. Ah. Slick security guard. May I help you? Do you work for the rock star? Yes, sir. I work for Maria Mercurial. Something I can do for you. I'd like to meet Maria Mercurial. Lots of people want to meet Maria Mercurial. Do lots of people have this much Nuyen? Show the counter on your cred stick. I'm an old friend of hers, or I have a song I think Ms. Mercurial will want to hear. Um, hmm. I don't think we could fake singing. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> Want to just bribe him? I don't know. I feel like he's going to be resistant to bribes. Mm. He can give it a shot. That, the manly strength of that beard does bespeak integrity. Let's say, I'm an old friend of hers. I'm sure you are. Ms. Mercurial has lots of friends in Seattle. She lives here. Can I get into the concert? That's not up to me. The concert was only announced an hour ago, but the tickets are already sold out. Sorry, nothing I can do. Right. Know anything about the Universal Brotherhood? Just what I see on the Tri-D. I'm gonna look around. Sit yourself, Shimmer. Alrighty. You say Tri-D? Yeah. Th th Three-dimensional. Oh, I see. Three 3D display. Let's see, there's... They're setting up over there. And just something amusing, like a, something cool about an elf in a, a, a big elf bodyguard in a suit. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the cousin of that incredibly unenthusiastic stripper over at the uh, the seamstress <laughs> union. Yeah. Wow. We got some nice shiny robots guarding the place. All right, let's continue on. Not a nice night to be out, it seems. Some guys warming. There it is. Build a universal brotherhood. Build a better tomorrow. Before we talk to the guy in the front, let's have a little look around a little more, see if there's anything else around. Hmm. You have to talk to the doorman. What's that sign there? Tiddly bits junk shoppy, or fiddly bits junk shop. All right, let's talk to Patrick. Patrick, welcome, brother. Are you ready to build a better tomorrow? This is our. I sure am. I'm thinking about it, or. Have you looked at the world lately? I don't see a better tomorrow coming. Let's try that one. <laughs> let's let's make let's try to seem like we're like we're a lost, despairing soul in need of guidance. I used to feel the same way. 
Then I heard Lynn Telestrian speak at my first Discovery meeting, and I realized what I'd been missing. You remember her? She's the uh, friend of uh, Sam's uh, sister. Oh, right, right. Who, who I just realized, remembered, is also named, is named Jessica, so I'm going to have to rename my gun. Shit. Then I heard Lynn Telestrian hmm. speak at my first Discovery meeting, and I realized what I'd been missing. Come in and find the power of belonging. Belonging has a capital B. That that sounds sort of ominous. <laughs> like I don't like like I'm gonna like I'm gonna be assimilated by Shodan or something. I have some questions first. Of course, brother. Go right ahead and ask. What is the Universal Brotherhood? The Universal Brotherhood is a community that welcomes all forms of metahumanity, with the mission of making the world a better place by helping to become individuals to become so much more than they currently are. Issues are so it's a religion. It sounds like a religion, or it's not a religion, is it? <laughs> so it's a religion. Uh. Yes, brother, we don't try to hide that. After all, what is religion but an organized collection of beliefs that relate metahumanity to our spirituality? We believe that the Brotherhood is the highest form of religion because it brings us closer to the truth. Truth also has a capital T. And what is the truth? That's what you'll find out inside. Come in and find the power of belonging. Capital P. <laughs> At least tell me a bit of the truth. Come on. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Gladly. It's something we're happy to share. I just thought you'd prefer to hear it from someone more articulate than me. It starts with the idea that metahumanity is good at its core, and that we are all one family. But more than that, it's that we are linked to something greater than ourselves. Something beyond time. Something beyond flesh. Beyond flesh. You're going to have to go inside if you want to learn more. Damn you. Who can join? <laughs> Why, anyone, of course. Wouldn't be very universal if we left anyone out, would it, brother? Do you know Jessica Watts? <laughs> of course. Grandmother Jessica is the leader of this chapter of the Universal Brotherhood. She's pretty high up. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Lynn Telestrian. Happily, Mother Lynn is our chap chapter's most dynamic spokesperson. She's truly an inspiration to us all. So all for now. Great. Come in and find the power of belonging. That, that's how it be, should be pronounced, I think. Belonging. Oh, all right. Nice. Well, let's head in through the door. Still wearing my mask. You hear the sound of soft music playing within, and what, and what, and many soft sif slippers gliding across a smooth floor. Enter the Universal Brotherhood. Oh, brother, I forgot to mention that everyone must enter the Universal Brotherhood alone. See, I understand. My friends and I are together. I'm going to need some moral support. I'm going to need some moral support. In order to become part of a larger family, we must first know ourselves. You need to hear our message in solitude so that your mind can be clear from distraction and the shackles of this heartbreakingly oppressive world. There's, there's, there's this whole initiation ritual where Jake the Snake Roberts buries you alive. <laughs> Bury me, snake man. I understand. Coyote whispers in your ear. We'll wait outside for you, Flandry. I'll take the team and circle around the building, looking for another way in. I'll chirp you on your comm link if we find one. All right. Hmm. Here we are. The Universal Brotherhood. In contrast to the noise and energy of the... Damn it. In contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside... The lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, cr tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room is something from a day spa mixed with a planetarium sky show, allowing listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of metahumanity mill about with blissful smiles and shining eyes, greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter, her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Perhaps we can find enlightenment within. The sweeping walls, the muted colors, and the soothing music of the Universal Brotherhood's entrance hall are all designed to relax you. All right. There's a sign. There's a big sign. Unleash your inner abilities. Hmm. I hear someone at the front desk. 
Sister Sally. Hi, welcome to the Universal Brotherhood. I will be with you in just a second. She turns to the other woman at the desk. Sister Monica, you have to be more careful with your ID. She reaches down to a box on the floor. Here is a blank key card. Take it in your ruined card to Brother Christopher, and he will let you into the office to program a new one. If you Well, thank you, plot device. Yeah, Sister Monica. Thank you, Sister Sally. S Sister Sally smiles. Of course. Truth makes us one. The young lady turns back to you and smiles. I'm sorry about that. How can I help you today? What is the Universal Brotherhood? The Universal Brotherhood is a community that welcomes all forms of metahumanity with the mission of making the world a better place by helping individuals to become so much more than they currently are. This is our Seattle chapter. There are more popping up every day. Is Jessica Watts here? I'm sorry, I don't know. I only see Grandmother Jessica at special ceremonies, and even then, only at a distance. You might ask Mother Lynn, Lynn Telestrian, if you can catch her in the auditorium. Is Lynn Telestrian here? I believe so. I think she arrived at the end of Father Willie's talk, so you might find her in the auditorium. Father Willie? That, that, that is kind of a hard name to take seriously, I have to say. The most rev- I just- The most reverend no, Father Willie. <laughs> it's just funny how, like, all these, like, these metahumans have, like, I don't know, fourth grade names? <laughs> Sister Sally, Sister Monica. Well, those aren't fourth. Willie. Those aren't fourth grade names. Monica, those aren't fourth grade names. They're just names. I mean, well, Sally. Are... Well, I don't know. I don't know any adult who still goes by Sally. Sally Field. I'm trying to think of one actually. Although you probably don't know. Is Sally... it Sally Fields? F Sally Field. Although you not like. Although you probably don't know her personally. I don't know her personally. I know the cookies. Wait, who am I thinking of? Wait, well, Sally, Sally's not short for anything, is it? I thought, I thought it was short for Susan. Is it? That makes I don't no. Know. That makes no sense. Yeah, but neither, 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 is neither does, for Richard or Jack for John or or Teddy for Edward. Yeah, I, I know, I know. That's there are true. people who go by John or Jack, and that's weird. No, Jack is a nickname for John. Yeah. But they're the same, like, it's the same length. <laughs> I don't, I, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really add any convenience, I know. Well, neither does Sally versus Susan. Oh, maybe it's easier for kids to say. Or Teddy versus Edward, for that matter. Yeah. We're, we're, ki we're kind of going far afield here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the dystopian world of 2054 Seattle, why is Jessica Watts called Grandmother Jessica? At the Universal Brotherhood, we learned that the world is all one family. When you choose the path of belonging, you become one of our brothers or sisters. We are led by our fathers and mothers, who are in turn led by Grandmother Jessica, the Seattle family's matriarch. Can I have a blank key card? She looks at you, perplexed. I don't know why you would need one. They are only used to replace the cards of brothers and sisters who have damaged theirs. Did you know that there's a Maria Mercurial concert going on right outside? Her eyes light up. I know, isn't it exciting? I'm such a big fan of hers. The first time I heard Who Weeps for the Children, I melted inside. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this... It's not just that, but the, like, non-sequiturness of <laughs> Flandry talking to this. <laughs> it's just... Can I have a blank key card? No? Well, did you know that there's a uh, Maria Mercurial concert outside? There, 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 there's a method to his, There's a method to our madness, Nick. Hold on. Yes. That is, or actually, is, don't tell anyone, but she's signing autographs outside right now. She chews her lip, torn, then makes a decision. I know the elders will frown on this, but I've just got to get her autograph. I'm Marine, I mean, it's Maria Mercurial! And? It's like Macklemore. Who's the you know, wonder... Seattle-based? Uh, you, know, you know, since Maria Mercurial is, like, all cyborged up, 
I, I wonder, like, if her, uh... Maybe her signature is just, like, a barcode that she bur like burns into a piece of paper or something. That would be hilarious. That I would would love, like... Or she's got I a little... Met Dash Punk in real life... You, you would ask them to, what, burn a tattoo... Burn, I mean, burn a, a uh, autograph for you? I would hope that that's their autograph, is that <laughs> they just, like... <sighs> They just, they all just, just hand it to me. They all just have like little built in acetylene torches. Yeah. Next to the card, <laughs> next to the desk is a cardboard box filled with blank Universal Brotherhood ID cards. If you could get one and damage it, maybe you could use it to get into the offices and program a new card. Let's take a card. You slip a blank key card into your pocket.